Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your new Amazfit GTS 4 Mini with Zeep app on an Android phone, also in the next video we will show how to connect with an iOS device. Before we start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So, let's begin here immediately, we have here the new Amazfit GTS 2 Mini and let's see how to connect it. To download the Zeep app, you can find it on Play Store by name, or you can find it by your QR code on your watch, you can scan the QR code and it will give you the link to download it. Hit install and wait until it's done. When it's done, hit install again and we should have the app ready to continue. As we open it up it will ask you for permission to use location, contacts, phone calls, call logs, and we have to allow do not disturb, for the Zeep app in the settings. After you have done all the installing you have to scan the QR code in the watch with Zeep app scanner to connect it. You can find this in the third page, click the new device and select what device you have, this time we have to go with watch and scan it. After you select the device it will ask you for location. Wait a little bit and after the watch it's found it will ask for a pairing request which you have to accept in the watch and phone too. This time we have an update. Let's run it and see what we have inside the app. That was it, it's so easy to connect it. Here at the top we have the percentage of battery and underneath that is the first option health monitoring where we can find auto heart rate monitor, active heart rate monitoring, sleep, stress and blood oxygen. Here on this page we can turn them on and off and customize a few things. Next is notification for incoming calls, app alerts where you can choose the apps that you want to get notifications from, standing reminder, incoming SMS and goal notification, in this page you can customize these one by one so look carefully and see what options you want to turn on or off. After that we have watch faces where we can find a lot of them and it's very easy to change them. You can download a few and you can change them in a matter of seconds. To download one it may take a minute. Next we have, App Store where you can download more apps for the watch like, Today's History, Snake, What to Eat or Dice Roll that we will download. All the apps that you download here will appear at the bottom of the menu. Here is the dice roll that we downloaded. In watch settings we will find display and brightness where we have auto brightness, screen on duration to set the seconds, always on display where we also have screen off style, lift wrist to view info, screen on upon notification and wake during workout. Next we have sound and vibration where we can see buzzer scenes, buzzer intensity, vibrate for alert and vibration. Do not disturb is the next option where we can work on. Next is the off wrist lock and password where we can turn this option on to activate a lock after we remove this watch in case you have something to protect in it. In the long press side button we can customize what app to open if you press the side button. Here you can put an app that you need more often to use. Next is edit quick access where we can put more options or take off those that we don't need in the left side of the watch where sits the shortcuts or quick access. This is how it looks after you change the position or add more apps. In the end of the watch settings we have language. App list management we can customize the order of the apps in the menu same as we saw before. Here you can put apps that you use more often at the top so you can access faster. Here you can see how it looks after the change of order. Again, the shortcuts are the same as the other two before we can change the order, add more or take ones that we don't need in the shortcuts. Here we have some apps like Amazon Alexa, Weather, Alarm, Calendar, To-Do List, Word Clock and more. Find Watch, Discoverable, Activity Heart Rate Share, Real-Time Data, Run in Background, Lab where we can connect the camera, this way we can control the camera from the watch. Let's try this option and see how it works. System update and about this device are the last options in this page.
Back at the profile page where we are seeing my goal, my route, my records, friends, ad account, user feedback, smart analysis, and settings. These were just in the watch page that we connected in the beginning, now we will see all the data from the first page that shows when you open the app. First stands the steps with charts and other datas for it, we can see statistics for day week month and year also we have data for distance, duration and burned calories that we did throughout this journey. After that is heart rate again with similar options the chart for lowest and highest heart rate and we can see for a day, week, month or a year worth of statistics. Next we have stress same as other options before all the data will be here which makes it very easy to track our health. After that is blood oxygen again with the same options like we saw in other health options. Sleep again we have the hours of sleep for the last night, light sleep, deep sleep and the quality throughout the night. In workout history we'll find all the workouts that we did with all the data that is necessary like distance, route that we did for that walk or run, burned calories, steps, heart rate etc. So, this is pretty much it for the watch. I really enjoyed reviewing this model and it's a really great watch so I really liked it. It's really easy to use, pretty fast, and has everything you would want in a watch. In the next video, we will see how to connect it with Android and iOS, which apps it uses, and what options we have in these apps, so stay tuned for that. So, guys, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video with another smart device.